Hey everybody, welcome back. So I uh, got a little, got a little crazy with the structure of the engine. You know, cleared out, just cleared out a little bit of space. And, well, I guess we're gonna start working on ancient warfare because I went and got everything in, um, everything that I think we need unlocked. So we're gonna make three water wheels, a fishing machine. Um, uh, a, a tree cutting, a lumber yard, and a quarry. So, we're going to start by making this guy. So, I was fishing to get raw fish for the uh, stuff. I finally got a puffer fish, so we can make this. So, let's see how this guy does. Now, this is four spider webs. A four trap chests, and then some some sort of fish. Uh, it's got to be a clown fish or a puffer fish. And we're going to stick him right here, I guess. And we'll, we'll check it every once in a while. I think it, I guess it needs a fishing rod. Let's see what we got here. So I wonder if I put an enchanted fishing rod in there, if that'll work. Does it need power? That'd be kind of weird. It better be really good if it needs power. Running out of room pretty quick. Okay, so this should be up and running. Hey, we got a bottle of water sweetness. So it's basically like an automated fisher, I'm guessing. So I'll have to keep an eye on it, because there's not a big inventory here, and I don't see an output option. So, just have to keep an eye on it. Now let's, uh, let's get into one of the other things I want to show you guys. So, I got a couple new pets. I got my, uh... Scarlet Pinky. Scarlet Pinky. Two different colors. Kind of funny. But uh, two of them came through the portal and I, I had enough diamonds so I got him. And this guy showed up. And I kind of had to have him. So you know, he's hard to see when he's dying, but he has 160 health, he's a water mount, and he is freaking huge, and he's the golden breed, so we, uh, we got our land, our air, and our water mounts now. Our air mount, we're looking for an upgrade, but for now, this is what we got, so that's what we gotta deal with. Um, as far as this stuff goes, I, um, you have to have your keys and your modules, the self-aware. So you see, like, I have zombies and spiders to self-aware now. You have to have them to self-aware to get, um, glitch hearts. So that's, uh, that's some news to, uh, a word to the wise. Okay, take care of that guy. I was considering getting a Kaku Demon as my uh, my new flying mount, but I don't really know if I, if I want to go through all the trouble. Like, they're hard to find, and it's hard to find a rare one. And then it's also, like, hard to tame them because it's hard to get near them. They keep flying away. But let's do Ancient Warfare. So, Ancient... I want this. Oh, I got this from taking on a, uh, um, I beat an entire battle tower without you guys. That's how I got my, 
my uh, spider thing to self-aware and my zombie thing to self self-aware. I went and killed a, a battle tower on my own, and I got this from it. I, I do apologize for not doing it on camera, but to be honest, I went, my first initial thing was get a spider spawner, and then I was like, oh, I wonder if I can do it, and I just, you know, I, I did it. So that's just how it is. That's just how it worked out. So this is, I think this is all the research I have left to do. Like, this is it in its entirety. Like, five left. I think I got everything else done. So we want to make, we might be able to make this now. What am I missing from this? Okay, yeah, I can make that. I just had it in the wrong order. So we can set up the quarry as soon as I make a water wheel. We're going to make three water wheel generators. So I need nine iron gears, six wooden gears, and 12 planks. So if I type in iron gears, I want the ones that I can do the uh, four at a time with. That gives me 10 iron gears, and I need wooden gears, which I don't care how we get those, because, well, I have a, there's not a, a recipe for those ones, huh? And these I need what? I don't know, a lot of, um, a, a, quite a few. So, that'll be enough. We got wooden gears, iron gears, and planks. So we'll grab a stack of, uh, might as well grab spruce planks, but we're not gonna. Because it seems like that my, my system greatly enjoys using spruce planks. I don't understand why. So it takes... It'll be easier if I just do it this way. And then I need one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we get three of these guys. So we have three water wheels that the quarry made. Now I want to do a uh, tree thing tree farm, which I might have just about everything for but a chest and a iron axe. So let's see, I might, I might even have a chest. Yeah, so all I gotta do is make an iron axe. So let's do this, and then do this, and then we could take these out of here. We'll take these, this, and this. And then we'll make our tree farm, which is this, this, I think it was four of these wooden gears on the side. That's not it. Um, okay, that was close. And let's make a fish farm thing. I wonder if it's called a fish farm. It is a fish farm. Nice. Alright, so all I really need is another chest and a fishing rod, so I gotta get these guys and this, and I gotta make a fishing rod, which takes more sticks, I guess, that I don't have, and fishing rod, alright, so then we should be able to go over to here, plop this guy in there, and we have that. Okay, so now we're going to have to set all these guys up. Uh, I think we're going to need a couple of chests, so... As like a, a buffer, I guess. That is probably more than I need, but that's fine. Let's, uh...
do this, we're going to need at least three of these. So one, two, three. And one, two, three. And two, and one, two, three. All right. We should be able to set all these up now. Um, I think I'm going to do spruce saplings, just because my my system extremely enjoys spruce for whatever reason. I only got three spruce planks left, so I think we're going to do spruce uh, for that. And this is going to be the tree farm area. Okay, so we're going to do... Let's get close to the middle. Is there a middle? Probably not. Do one, two, three. Jerk. We'll do one, two, three, one, two, three. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, let's just, uh, let's just not do that. We're just making more work for ourselves. If we take our tree farm here, and we drop it down, right? Well, this looks like a, yeah, I don't want to do that. We'll put it here. It'll show us like an area of effect. So we can do like this. Just ignore me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this right sooner or later. Seeing that it's such a small area of effect, I think we could put it here, and it'll leave one space the whole way around. And then I put the water wheel in right here. Like so. So we can do this. We can grab the water wheel, put it down here. And this is this is kind of wonky. If you want to put the water wheel in right, you gotta do it like that. And now I'll need a... A bucket. Preferably with water, which I happen to have. And I can do that. And that should start doing its thing. Yeah, see? It will plant and cut down these here spruce cheap trees granted that I gave it enough space to grow but I mean if not I can I could raise the roof <laughs> anyways um, so now we'll do the quarry which I want to put it back here like right about here actually before we get too into that let's hook up the chests because if I don't I'll forget and this will get overrun with items like super quick. So let's do this. And I want to whitelist this. I want to whitelist everything 64 at a time. I want to blacklist it. No, I want to whitelist it. Now hopefully that works because it doesn't look like it connects properly, but I'm pretty sure it works. I'm pretty sure Cyclic works with everything. So that's something. That's uh, that's another thing you can. Keep noted. Pretty sure Cyclic works with everything. Alright. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is if this is actually going to grow. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to raise that up a little bit. Let's, um, might as well take care of the problems as they arise.
Yeah, second thought, we'll come back to it. So I have to get the destruction gadget. On our whitelist, 64. And look this guy up here. Like so. And we'll drop this guy down. Like that. Drop some water here. And now this should start doing its thing. We're going to add two chests. And we're going to add the upgrades. Like that. And then we can set the bounds to being like maximum. Like that, and we can set. It's mining my. It's mining all the way over there. That's not good. Uh, let's uh. Let's stop that from happening. See, I wanted it to go that way, but apparently, apparently that's not that's not an option. So let's uh, get rid of that. Let's see where this bad boy came from. Put it back. There he is. All right. So that'll fix that. Then we're going to put our uh, mining quarry this way instead. I didn't want to do it this way, but you know what? It is what it is. Unfortunately, I'm a prime example of you don't always get what you want. Actually, I'm a prime example you don't even get close to what you want. And this will mine out far, far away from our base. Now, this might be big enough to uh, raise a little bit of a problem with my fantastic lake, but I don't care. If, if I care that much, I'll just build a better lake. Okay, I need item cable and some chests. So we're gonna do it on this side. And now if I set the sides to top, which looks like I should probably only need this one. Yeah, that'll work. I usually set them all to top because, well, it's just easier that way. But now this will store everything that gets pulled out of here. Now, I could, I could filter this to just pull out, like, junk stuff. Like, I want to pull out all 64, whitelist everything, and I want to get granite, andesite, gravel, dirt, and cobblestone, and diorite if I, if I get any. And then have all that put in here and have everything else, you know, left in, left in here. So all the ores will be in here and everything else will go in here, except for diorite. Diorite still, uh, ain't in the filter. So once I get diorite, I'll put it in the filter. And I guess we could do that now. I guess it's better than, it's always better to do it and get it out of the way, I suppose. Actually, I don't think I have any diorite. I, yeah, I do. All right. I thought I turned it on with the polished diorite. 
And I'll show you what I use that for here in a minute. And diorite. So now everything that's junk will get pumped right into this chest, and everything that's an ore and, you know, flint and coal and stuff will get in here. Which will kind of, like, weed out some of the stuff, so then I can just come over here and, like, grab as much of that as I can, and then just, like, filter all this pretty much right to the trash can. Or whatever I decide to do with it at the time. Now, I want to do the fishing thing. And then I gotta decide where exactly I want to put this, because... I'm kind of rocking, like, the whole farm idea over here. So I was thinking, like, I could put it, like... I don't think that'll work. Not there. I guess I could just stick it, like, over here on its own little island. Like that. And it's going to do that area, which is perfect, in my opinion. Now I'll just need some sort of block... I guess we can find some, I guess dirt will work. And I want to put that here, here. Like that, I guess. And then we gotta hop up here, put this guy right here. And we're lagging. Awesome. Get rid of this. I was gonna say that that should work. It had me worried for a second. And now I put this guy down here. Plop it there. And I don't think I'm really gonna put a filter on this. Because I mean unless I put that I just want the raw fish to be exported to here. Or I want everything exported but the raw fish. I think would probably be the way to do it. Like export every single thing but raw fish and raw salmon. I think would be the best course of action for that. But then we'll be able to see how, how all these different things work out. Does this go deeper down? Like, if I took this hammer and I decided to, like, lay waste to this area, does that go... Oh, it does go down further. I didn't know this went down any deeper. I wonder if it increases, like, its probability if it's, like, down further. I don't know if it's going to make any difference without it being water source blocks be honest. But I guess we'll find out. So like right now it's like as far as it can go really. And I guess that's pretty much good enough. We might as well take out the last one. And then we have... I'm drowning! Drowning! Alright, so then we have the full area completely in water. Now, I don't know if it's considered a water source block or not. But, it is what it is. So, let's jack this up to 64. I guess we're going to whitelist... A salmon and regular fish. That's that's the goal. Well, if that was the case, why is the salmon still in there? 
Are you telling me this stuff doesn't work? Oh, do you know what the problem is? I didn't set the sides. So, I gotta do uh, the west side. Now, east side, top. Alright, well, apparently I'm wrong. So, apparently I'm wrong, so we're just going to put them all to top. Because it doesn't matter if they're not exporting or importing from anything else. So, we'll take this guy out. We'll plop him in here. So now it's just going to... Actually, I want to blacklist fish. I want everything else to go through but fish. Because these things will stack forever. Alright, so that's, that's pretty much in order. I mean, I guess I could... You know, push this wall back a little bit more than I, you know, went and expanded my range. Okay, so that that's good to go. And now I was harvesting my crops with a shovel. And, you know, you do that, you right-click, it does that. Now, let's double-check these, make sure they're working properly, because, you now when it comes to automation, or even the simplest of things, I can somehow tend to mess it up, so. Now, we're frozen, so, let's go, just, uh, wait a second. It'll all work out, probably not, probably die a miserable, horrible death, but... That's all. That's all I had. I was going to try to silver lining it, but that's that's pretty much it. <sighs> all right. So this is doing its thing. Getting the good stuff there, the not-so-good stuff there, good to go. If you're doing matter in, um... In matter overdrive and you need a good source of matter these cobblestone are one unit of mass whatever that km is it's it's one unit of mass and if you have if you could turn them into a furnace it's eight units of mass per furnace so you take eight stacks of um eight stacks of cobblestone to turn it into one stack of furnaces furni it will be the same amount of matter but it'll go a little quicker because it's, you know, one piece at a time. Now, if you don't want to do that, and you have a large amount of granite, granite is seven per individual piece. Just, uh, just to let you guys know, if you're going, if you're going the cheap way, that's a good way of doing it. Uh, granite and furnaces is what I use. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to mess with that. I guess we could. That'll just put it clear up against the wall. Ain't necessarily gonna help, but you know, put all these at the top. And we gotta remedy this situation somehow. I'm not exactly sure how I wanna do this. I guess it'd probably be easier with a destruction gadget. Which I have on charge, right? If, I, if I'm remembering correctly, the reason I didn't do this right away is because I have it on charge. That is an affirmative. Let's take care of that problem real quick. Go and gadget out of there. Charge it up. And let's, uh... I don't want to... You're such a dick. <laughs> Luckily, I had a whole pile of dirt on me.
All right, back to what I was doing. So I want to do that. Oh crap. No, I'd say it. I'd say I'd seen that coming, but you know, I didn't. That. We got this more on here. And let's uh let's grab our building gadget back. I'm sure it's close to being charged, almost kind of, sort of. We have it set to dirt, but that's that'll work. I mean that's fine. There it is. That was the ticket. That should kind of stop it from doing whatever it is that it's leaking. That should stop the leak. Hopefully. Apparently we still have a leak on this side. Gotta stay clear of those cacti. Yeah, there's gotta be some way to stop this. Is that like, am I getting closer? Where are we at? Okay. Um, don't worry, I got this. I'll figure this out. Somehow, some way. Maybe before my maybe before my next life. We'll see. Where is this leaking from? Okay, not the prettiest. We got the job done. <sighs> I know this is a bad idea, but let's go up one more level. I knew I was going to hit water somewhere. Okay. Whatever's going on up there should be alright, and that should be enough room for spruce.
Yeah, that looks uh, a little bit cleaner. I'll fix that up later. Now let's test the theory and see if we can get a spruce tree to grow. And then we got one more thing we want to do before we end this episode. So, bone. And let's see if this grows. Haha! <laughs> okay. Now we got enough space. We can get rid of this stupid torch. And we can stick it over here. And we'll take this one. And we'll stick it over there. Alright, good enough. Okay, it's a little cleaner. Okay, let's go and take care of our last thing that we want to do. Let's go in here, click on this bad boy, and let's um let's empty out our inventory. That's a good start. And we're gonna want some sort of food. Let's do some... Cooked... Suffiganous meat. Suffiganous meat. And... I need... A devil's lasagna? And and a key. Let's see. So I got two attuned to self-aware zombie and two attuned to self-aware spider. I guess we'll take a spider one because that's the one I actually wanted to do. And we're gonna go and uh, actually let's just eat this one. And we're gonna do this. I put some walls up. Uh, not because you have to, but I think it keeps things a little bit cleaner. Like it's a little bit easier to do what we got to do. Um, so the reward is four corrupt glitch hearts and eighteen pristine spider matter. Now I'm not sure how many of these glitch hearts I need, but I plan to use all four of these keys. So how many ever I get will be a good start. It's not fair. We're in a battle and you can't summon extra guys. The Devil's Lasagna gives you the strength buff. And the, uh... The Sphigginous Meat gives you, like, a, re a reduction to fire damage. And that's not that big of a deal, under consideration. Now I'm fighting spiders and not, you know, anything else. But it's still nice to have. It'd be better for the nether, but I usually make, make fire resistance potions if I come down to actually needing them. Where the heck did this guy come from? Oh, he's one of those special guys. I'm surprised the glitch didn't spawn yet. Usually, they uh, usually you get at least one.
Okay, I need that back. Okay. So we got four glitch, four corrupt glitch hearts right off the bat. That's a good start. Um, we got five minutes left. Let's do a zombie one. Speak of the devil. We got five minutes in the video, and we have seven minutes of a strength buff left. So, let's get um, a zombie key. That one. And let's get the... Uh cooked I need cooked something. I guess we'll use cooked fish. The zombies are a little more interesting. The only downside is you have a uh, a chance of getting um charged creepers. This guy. This guy's a problem. That's a glitch. Glitches spawn, they give you an additional chance to get an additional glitch, glitch heart, but in its entirety, it's, uh, they're kind of tough, and they do special things. That was a charged creeper, so it was like, I was a little on the, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little scared. It's not fair. And I'm out of food, too. They're only on four of seven. I'm gonna lose. Be all right if I keep a dis if, I, if they keep their distance. No, no lag. No lag. I might win. Okay, I don't know why I'm dying. I'm dying and I don't know why I'm dying. Last one. See, I'm dying and I don't know why I'm dying. gonna lose and I'm taking damage. I don't know why I'm taking damage. I lost. That's that's crap. That it would have been alright if I would have took more I'm still taking damage for no reason. You guys are seeing that right? I don't even know why I'm dying and I'm dying. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here and get my stuff back, reset the server, and try to find out what invisible abomination is is trying to kill me. See, I'll log out, and I'll log back in, and there'll be like a baby zombie or something laying around here. I'm going to die again. Another Blanc was killed by a lightning wraith. 
using magic. Yeah, it was definitely magic. But all right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.